I haven't picked one yet, but at least in, in 16, 17 years, one of them's going to join Victoria there at Queen's Park. <laughs> Janice Scott, thanks for the uh, introduction. Always good to see the Janice Scott Show or the Scott and Jan Show. Look, uh, Debbie and, and you saw Miller and Maitland uh, came here. We wanted to be here to help celebrate Lisa's 10-year uh, uh, anniversary of accomplishment. It seems like a lot longer than 10 years, though. <laughs> Honest to God, in terms of what Lisa has accomplished, uh, there at Kings Park has been an incredible dynamo. I mean, one of my uh, starting uh, icemen uh, as leader in the PC party there on the front bench is what she's done to fight for the riding, for autism, for Rowan's law, for children, for I mean, the list could go on and on. I got to tell you, Lisa has done more in 10 years than the rest of the legislature put together. <laughs> Actually, she first 10 years ago, I, John Tory was leader, I was a finance critic, and there was rumors that this woman, this young woman named Lisa McLeod, was going to run when John Baird stepped down. And was it called the Pete and Carl at the time? The Pete and Carl. And there were a lot of big names that were rumored to be running. And folks were like, who's this Lisa McLeod? She works for Jan Harder. Well, I've probably learned a few things, but is Lisa McLeod going to be really the, a candidate for us in that by election? But it was a premium was to come because she out-hustled, she outworked, and she outran any everybody and won that in a walk as an acclamation and then the election and now gets the biggest votes in the entire province of Ontario. Yeah. I want to say too, I am glad that I'm before Victoria. That is going to be one tough act to follow. <laughs> Toggle the apple not falling too far from the tree. <laughs> so in my brief time, let me tell you three things. Those Steve Clark, Jim McDonald, they'll vouch for this. Three things, two of which you know for sure. Um, one which you may not, but it won't surprise you. Lisa McLeod is so successful because she is just really good at her job, period. Right. <laughs> Reason number one, there is no better retail politician at Queen's Park. Now maybe that's been an inside baseball term. This is somebody who actually gets what's happening out there. Somebody who actually then can communicate it right across the province of Ontario to understand what people in the Pete and Carlton and across the province are concerned about and then communicate that in plain language and get the job done. That's why I always had her out here. I know we stole her way off from Pete and Carlton, but I always wanted to put Lisa McLeod to go across the province to drive that message. There's nobody better as a retail politician in that entire legislature. <laughs> what did that mean for me? Well, as leader, you travel around a lot, especially during campaigns. We had the debate back home, and I couldn't make it. I was on the road somewhere, it just didn't work out, so I thought, who in caucus will I put up that I trust the most in my own riding to win that debate? It's a no-brainer. I asked Lisa to do it. It was a short drive from, from P and Carlton to Niagara. <laughs> so Lisa goes down there, and those candidates are running against me when they saw Lisa, they didn't know what they're in for. An hour and a half later, after she wiped the floor, they didn't ask for any more debates with the rest of the campaign. <laughs> Best retail politician in the legislature. Number two, loyal. Lisa is an incredibly loyal individual. That is such a rare, valued commodity in this business. You know that, I know that. Loyal to the PC party, loyal to the team, loyal to her family, loyal to her beliefs. And you know what's most important? Incredibly loyal to the people in the and Carlton. Steve and Jim will vouch this every conversation in caucus way she looks at issues. It's how, how are the folks in the neighborhood, people that I see, but I'm at the hot games, I'm at the barbecues, how are they going to react? Every decision she makes, every speech you watch her in the house, it's from the eyes of the people of the and Carlton. And I know this is a very difficult choice to decide between the P and Carl side. It would tear you up inside because she is so loyal. Although I was at CFRA earlier today, the rumor there is that we're going to have a run against Kathleen Wynn and knock her off the next election. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you combine that, right? The extraordinary retail politician, the loyalty to the team, to the cause, and the people back home. That makes her one extraordinary leader. 
a powerful person legislature, that rare combination of being good at your job, a great communicator, and being loyal and trustworthy to a team. Number three, she's got a big heart. Got a big heart. Look at the causes she takes up when we're watching videos soon about more of them. She looks out for the little guy. She looks out for people with special needs. She looks out for every charity in her ride. It's in her heart. You know what's beyond that? It's a good friend, great friend. We all have ups and downs. We all go through good times, we go through bad times. What you learn in this business when you have that cycle of life, particularly in front of the cameras politics can be, you know who your friends are. You see who's really there for you and your family. Every single time, whether it was professional or personal with our daughters, would I hear from right away you support? Lisa McLeod. Those. <laughs> Hard work, loyalty, strength and communication. Incredible combination. But the most precious commodity at all is to have that kind of friendship, that kind of support, to have that heart. That's why we're here today. I think you folks have one of the most amazing people in the province as your MPP. We're excited to see what she's going to do in the 10 years. I've seen so much in the last 10 years. But when you got that heart, you know it's there in the right place, the right motivation. You think Lisa McLeod's done a lot so far? Friends, you just wait for those next 10 years. Thanks for being with me.